I think they're collecting in the living room? I assume you're referring to the photos that were taken with the technicians right in front of that orange artwork, which would be right about here. Now that would be the archway right before Dylan's bedroom, heading out into the kitchen and towards the sliding door. Undoubtedly, the technicians were covering every inch of that house, and the reason why they got that photo is because they just happened to be in front of the window at that moment, and the media was able to catch that shot. But if I had to guess, I've said for some time now that I think Dylan was standing in that archway and that he passed right by her on his way out. And I do wonder if he could have been surprised or shocked at seeing her and stopped very suddenly and left some kind of track there. Now, we've talked about those photos. I want to talk about a picture we haven't really discussed much, and that's this one. So this area looks like it's uh, part of the kitchen. Because, see, you can see the couch there, which we know is the back patio. Now, here's this photo blown up. Notice there's no windows on this part of the wall. See these leaves? Notice how all the leaves on the outside are, like, green and yellow, but in the middle, there's a sort of long square that looks dark and muddy. To me, it looks like something was laid down on this patch of the ground. Like, maybe a beach towel or a blanket. As I've said previously, I always thought that he came prepared, that he came with something that he could step on, undress, step off, and then wrap everything up and stick it in a bag. And I wonder if that's what this is. Now before I go, my friend Viv has a YouTube channel. She talks to crime, mostly the Idaho case. She's kind of like me, but on steroids. And she decided to make a video rebutting something that Jay Embry said. And rather than have a mature, respectful discussion, he decided he would just comment on her weight. Here's a few more of the comments. Now, I'm not going to tell you to unfollow this fragile ego little bitch. I know better than that. What I am going to ask is for people, specifically men, to hold men like this accountable when they say stuff like this. This is how a lot of insecure men react when they're challenged by a woman. They make it personal. They want to hurt her. If this guy knew as much as he claimed to know, he would have been able to have an effective debate with Viv. But instead, he decided to attack her looks. Because that's how terrified he is of a woman proving him wrong. There's no room for stuff like this in this community. If you can't formulate a defense with facts and you have to make ad hominem attacks, you don't have an argument. And you know it. Now that said, I want to hear what you think in the comments. Do you think that space outside the house could be where he put down a blanket to dress and undress before the murders? Let me know in the comments.